Welcome to Electro Online. In this video, we're going to try and determine the self inductance of a toroidal solenoid. And there it is. It's basically a tube that wraps all the way around. We have a wire coiled all the way around the uh, tube. We have current going in one direction, coming out the other direction. Taking your right hand rule, take your fingers and turn them in the direction of the current. So from behind, over, and like this in front. And so we know that the B field goes around in this direction. So, what is the flux through this tube? Well, it would be the strength of the B field times the cross sectional area. We can assume that with a toroidal solenoid that the B field is about the same magnitude all the way around in any direction and also in any location inside that tube. So we can say that the flux is equal to the B field times the cross sectional area. Now, what is the magnetic field inside a toroidal solenoid? You can look at the other video where we did that, or simply, if you remember, from memory, it's equal to mu sub naught times the number of turns times the current divided by the length of the solenoid. And of course, if this is the radius r, we could say that's then divided by 2 pi times r. And finally, the self inductance, by definition, it's equal to the number of loops times the ratio of the flux, magnetic flux, through the loops divided by the current that drives that flux. So, if we now take the definition L, self-inductance, it's equal to the number of turns times the magnetic flux through the solenoid divided by the current through the solenoid. Of course, the magnetic flux can be written as B times A, so this is the number of turns times the magnetic field times the cross-sectional area divided by I, the current. And then we can write, instead of B, we can write what B is equal to so this becomes n times mu sub naught n times the current divided by 2 pi the radius. That is, of course, the circumference. Uh, and then we still have the i down here. Can't forget about that. Let's see, we have b and we still need the a. Can't forget the a either. So now we have the self inductance. We need to clean it up a little bit. Notice that the current cancels out. We have n times n, which is n squared. So finally, the self inductance of a toroidal solenoid can be written as mu sub naught times n squared times the cross-sectional area divided by the length or the circumference 2 pi r. And that is the self inductance of the toroidal solenoid. Not too bad when you keep track of the three definitions. And that's how we do that.